how do they do it? How do some people know what to say that gets people to pay attention and listen to them? Instead of telling you how they do it, I thought it would be more interesting to show you. I'm going to show you three examples of ways that you can get people to listen to you. And these are going to work whether you want them to listen to your speech or your conversation. I'm also going to demonstrate how you can sound more confident using each recommendation. By joining in, you'll get a chance to try out sounding more confident. If you'd like to research the source of these recommendations, you can look up the influencer, public speaker, communications professor, and businessman, Connor Neal. Connor Neal begins by sharing his third best way to get people to listen to you. Oh, how to start a speech? First way, with a question that matters to the audience. How do you phrase a problem that the audience faces in a question? So that'd be the third best way of starting a speech. Ask a question that matters to the person or people that you want to listen. Notice the difference though. How can I sound confident in English? Versus how can I sound confident? How can I sound confident in English? When you want to come across as more confident for WH questions, you want to bring your pitch down. How can I sound confident? How can I sound confident in English? Versus for yes, no questions, you want to slide your pitch up. Do I sound confident in English? Let's practice some. Say what I say and do what I do. How confident English. How can I sound confident? How can I sound confident in English? Moving on to Connor Neal's second best recommendation to get people to listen to you. The second best way of starting a speech is with a factoid that shocks. There's more people alive today than have ever died. There's more people alive today than have ever died. Share a fact that shocks the person or people who you want to listen to you. You'll sound more confident by bringing your pitch down for each statement within that fact. Let's practice some examples. Broca's brain area prevents adult learners from speaking English like a native speaker. Listening and repeating English isn't enough for adult learners. To sound like a native speaker, adult learners need movement and musical strategies to bypass Broca's area. Moving on to Connor Neal's best recommendation to get people to listen to you. But the best way to start a speech, and the way that I hope all of you use from now forward, is the same way we start a story to a child. So the way you tell stories as an adult is in October, it was the last time I was in this room. There were 120 people in the room, and I was having a little conversation with one of the world experts on public speaking. And he said something to me. He said something to me that's had me thinking ever since. People lean in and 
listen, when you begin with a story that intrigues, to sound more confident, step up in pitch and pause. This indicates that you have more to say. It's kind of like you're left hanging and you're less likely to be interrupted. Try some of these, repeat after me. The strangest thing happened on the way here. I'll never forget my first camping trip. It began as the perfect summer hike. You can almost sense that wanting to hear more. Now you know what gets people to listen to you. A question that matters to them. A shocking fact or a story that intrigues. And you know how to sound confident. Bring your pitch down for WH questions or to signal the end of a fact statement. Or bring your pitch up and pause to keep people listening to you.